So in this video, we're going to look how we can easily add cookie consent to our Laravel project. Thankfully, the guys over at Spartsy have made a package for us. So I've created a new Laravel project, and let's include this package in. So to install it, it's a simple composer, require, Spartsy, forward slash, Laravel, hyphen, cookie, hyphen, consent. So once we have that, I'm just going to spin up the default Laravel server. It's PHP artisan serve. Let's take a look at this in the browser. So as we can see, at the moment, we don't have any kind of GDPR cookie consent. So let's add this in now to our views. So under the roots of our project, if we come down to resources, views, and I'm just going to put this into the welcomeblade.php. You need to put this in somewhere that will be displayed on every page. So if you have like a header partial, or if you're using the default Laravel or scaffolding, that will actually give you a header file in the layouts folder. But for this, we're just going to drop it into the welcome.blade.php file. And then inside of the body, we just want to do an at include, and then we want to include the cookie consent index. And that's it, that's all we have to do. So let's take a look at this in the browser. And now if we do a refresh, we can now see we get the message up at the top of the page. So by default, this doesn't include any kind of styling, so you can style it as you want. I'll add some styling in here in a, in a moment and share the code with you. But for now, let's just look at how this works. So if we open up our developer console with F12, we come over to application and under cookies, we can see the cookies for this website. So notice how we have four cookies here now. So if we click OK to allow, and if we just give this page a refresh, you can see here we have a Laravel underscore cookie underscore consent cookie with a value of one. So once the user has this cookie on their system, they won't be displayed that message anymore. So let's just delete this cookie so we can get it back and give it some styling. So to do that, we just select it and then hit delete. Now if we refresh the page, you can see we have our message back. So we can see the cookie consent is wrapped in a class. So let's target this class and style it. So under resources, SAS. So I'm just going to do this in app.sass. And the class was JS cookie consent. So I'm going to give this a position of absolute and for it to be zero pixels from the top. I also want to give it a padding of 10 pixels and I want to line the text within the center. So we need to give this a width of 100% also. And then we'll give this a high Z index so it sits on top of everything else on the page. So I'm just giving it a Z index of 9,999. So I'm also just going to give this a background color and a border of a yellow. And the border is slightly darker than the background color. And we'll give this a border of solid and one pixel wide. So now we just need to build this SAS. Now we just need to build this SAS. So let's open a terminal. And we can just run npm run. And for now, we'll just run dev. So once that is complete, we just need to add this style sheet into our blade file. So come back over to welcome blade. And then up in the head tag of the blade file, just create a new link with a href of an asset of CSS forward slash app dot CSS. So let's save that and refresh the page. And we can now see it is styled for us at the top of the page. Now, obviously this step is optional. You can style it however you like. So that's all it takes to add the cookie consent into a Laravel application. As you can see, it's super quick and it'll take you less than a few minutes to do it. 